Tonight we're in Argyle, Texas, and we're looking at a project that this pool is all about activity. This family uh, is very active. You can see they have a full-on basketball goal and volleyball uh, sports court here, and they needed the pool and uh, house game room and master bedroom extension to all fit with that. So this wing of the house was pushed out. So incorporating with the pool, we came in and built the retaining walls, which are terraced here, and transition around the side. The builder was supposed to provide a drop brick ledge to help come down as we transition the areas and do it. And so we end up building a seat wall here against the foundation of the house to cover up uh, the lovely gray concrete that was exposed there. The nice thing about this terrace that I'm standing on is we've got a nice fire pit area. Also, it's really great because we can sit on the edge of the uh, pool here and it provides extra seating for all the gatherings. We tried to make really big stairway areas as people transitioned up and down from the sports court and the house and the kitchen uh, and the outdoor kitchen as well. So, stone tread and risers help make it where people don't miss elevation changes and trip over those. Uh, the exposed aggregate was used to match the exposed aggregate on the existing porch, plus it gives really good traction. This was how do we get in and out of this pool? So we've got a big wall on the house side, so we wanted some steps to be able to come down to enter and exit off the bench here uh, in the, the shallow end of the pool. Plus we wanted a place for people just to rest, so both of those areas were provided uh, with the, the steps and the raised beam. As the raised wall goes around all the way to the diving board, you can see there's a finger ledge which uh, allows people to hold on safely in the deep area and rest if they need to as well. The recessed diving board was a nice uh, element that built in with the terracing as we had from one level to the next to the pool. The finger ledge also wraps around the raised wall here by the slide again giving more places for kids to hang on because this pool is all about activity. Uh, we've got a six foot high dolphin slide uh, with a built in masonry staircase. And at this point, we have the cannon jets off so we can comfortably talk. Uh, we'll show those in an end clip maybe. So here we can get into the pool to do that. The top step, we had a wall, so we built steps coming up to the higher elevation help transition comfortably down to the lounge area or down to the steps itself. So we got a spa that's raised up 18 inches, gives us a lot of seating capability uh, for a lot of guests. Like this, yesterday they had a party for 50 people here. Uh, so lots of kids, lots of adults hanging out. Uh, the spa was a wraparound uh, seat shape, very, very comfortably sit six people. We also built a large outdoor kitchen with a very large bar area for people to uh, hang out and uh, enjoy the shade and the drinks and the refrigerator and the grill and everything that comes with the uh, outdoor kitchen. Here in the outdoor kitchen we have a large grill because they cook on it almost every day uh, for, and they have gatherings like Saturday that have 50 people here. We have a side burner, this is a dual side burner, which is really nice if you want to have pots, uh, cook something on a skillet as well out here. We've got a uh, roll-out trash can, uh, which makes it very easy to clean up. We've got the refrigerator, and this is a really nice unit if you've got space for it. It takes up a lot of counter space, but we have a large grill area. This is drop-in cooler, so you can put drinks in there and keep them uh, insulated all day long. So this is Mike Farley. And we're uh, in Argyle, Texas, and we're enjoying the recessed diving board, and we'll see you later. No, just kidding. Uh, it's still too cold this time of year. But have a good one anyway. Take care. Bye now.